Marianne Jensen is my name. Uh, I work on the Vision 2030 here at the Research Council, and I'm involved in both the innovation call work and also uh, the Følleforskning, or what we have called the Formative Dialogue Research in English. So I will present briefly to you. So we've heard about the aims several times, about innovation and develop, further developing and scaling up innovation related solutions to meet the sustainable uh, development goals. What's important for this call is that uh, out of the 150 total million for Vision 2030, up to 15 million is available for the form formative dialogue research in general. Um, and also, just to remind you about uh, the topics, the objectives, the um, Følgeforskning will follow the whole uh, mechanism uh, and also uh, the full range of goals that's uh, tied to this, uh, this general call and also to the, to the mechanism, both related to education and health. So coming back to the specifics of the call, so um, the calls for proposal on formative dialogue research needs to follow the innovation projects. So for that, it's uh, uh, necessary to have an understanding of what innovation projects are. So we ha have, a, of course, a lot of information on that or on our web pages as well. But uh, that's the category of projects that uh, the main um, call is following. Uh, and uh, the formative dialogue research will follow the projects from start to end. And the main purpose is to strengthen the implementation of the projects. And uh, what you see, we mentioned that it's both them, uh, the innovation projects through the RCN. It's also the Innovation Norway projects, so uh, that um, uh, dialogue needs to, to involve and to cover. And it's also potential further calls and projects by either NORAD, Innovation Norway, or RCN that could come up because there are still some funding available in the mechanism that has not been distributed yet. So, and the main aim is uh, to establish a knowledge foundation about the total mechanism that's uh, necessary and a, and a target. And uh, if possible, uh, we need to illuminate issues of relevance for innovation work more generally within education and health-related aid. The dialogue aspect is important, and uh, we need to emphasize that in this uh, uh, call particularly. Uh, the, the project is expected to be in uh, dialogue and give research-based input to all these projects during the project period. And uh, speci specifically, we of course need uh, to be enabled and stimulate the sharing of knowledge, both between the projects but also between the projects and the partner, partners, meaning uh, giving these types of feedback back to the Research Council, Innovation Norway, and also to NORAD and the MFA, Foreign Ministry. Uh, it's also uh, a target or a goal that the innovation uh, projects uh, are made capable or given some advice on how they can uh, facilitate um, collecting basic data to secure a baseline for um, possible follow-up, but also uh, so that we can go back and uh, look for um, impact and evaluate that in, in, uh, at later times or later points. It's also expected that uh, this type of uh, uh, project will need to take an active part in organizing activities to facilitate uh, these types of sharings in, uh, type, in regular meetings. Uh, and we expect about twice a year because it needs to be more regular than normal uh, research project uh, reporting. Uh, but also through seminars, it could be site visits and other, uh, all to facilitate uh, good sharing and implementation. 
Um, so the knowledge that's generated needs to be disseminated, and that's also uh, emphasized a lot in this call, both through um, scientific publications and also more popular scientific publication uh, as we go along. But it's also expected that we have high attention on the sharing with local communities, authorities, and other important stakeholders. And uh, of course, it's open uh, to what kinds of forms this can take, but uh, digital knowledge dissemination is uh, perhaps expected. Um, of course, we have the normal uh, progress reports and final reports that you all need to um, do as part of your uh, research uh, reporting at the Research Council. But uh, there might also be some special reporting uh, directly to M MFA as part of this project, but that will all be part of the dialogue when we finalize the contracts. It's also important for the formative dialogue research to, be, be, to give advice on what we should do as we go along, since this is not the only uh, call we will have for innovation projects. Uh, we expect uh, maybe uh, one more round. Uh, it's important that uh, the dialogue research can give input and uh, contribute with advice based on the experiences from this first uh, phase that we are launching now. So the funds available in this announced call is 10 million, uh, and we expect uh, one, projects, uh, one project needs to, to be uh, substantial in order to, to follow this uh, range of projects. And if further knowledge is needed, uh, there will be some additional uh, funds available. Um, but that is, will be based on a midterm review. Uh, that will be the grounds for a decision on additional funding. And that uh, decision will be taken in dialogue with the different partners, both Research Council, Innovation Norway, and NORAD. So the criteria, um, the formative dialogue research project is a researcher project, uh, and uh, many of you will know um, the criteria for researcher projects. Uh, this is all also uh, available online if you go to the RCN uh, homepages. And only research institutions are eligible applicants for this call. The, the project will be based on and will be running in parallel with the innovation uh, projects supported by Vision 2030, meaning both the RCN portfolio and the Innovation Norway portfolio and potential new portfolios that might come. The project uh, can be organized as a consortium that includes several partners. Actually, we expect that will be necessary uh, because of the complexity um, of the whole uh, mechanism. Um, and uh, one of the partners must be uh, a project owner. So there should be a clear responsible that uh, the RCN needs to engage in the contract and also uh, assign the project to. And also a Norwegian research institution must be the project uh, owner. Uh, again, we stress that international partnership is expected and including partners from the South, uh, as we will see many of the uh, projects will relate to the prioritized countries, most, mostly in the South. And application needs to be in English. Um, assessment criteria for this call is the general list of uh, criteria for researcher projects. You can also find more information on these uh, online. We have also added uh, gender perspective and ethics to the list. Those were also mentioned as uh, something that uh, the innovation projects will ask for in the, the templates. So um, these are quite uh, important uh, topics or criteria. 
uh, administrative procedures for this call. Um, the grant applications will be assessed by external re referees uh, through panels, as we are also doing with the innovation call. And it will be the NUR Global Program Board that will take the final funding decision. And uh, as we expect uh, this project to start uh, at the same time as the uh, innovation projects, uh, we also expect the results to be announced at the same time in December uh, this year. And who can apply? If you need a uh, more clear definition, uh, you, you will find that uh, online, again, on the RCN homepage. Uh, a more specified criteria and also a list on eligible institutions. Deadline and other important dates. It's the same opening date as the innovation projects, 27th of July. The call will be open and you will be it will be possible to, to um, uh, start the ESRIC uh, And the deadline to submit a formative dialogue research proposal is also the same, 7th of September at 1 o'clock. And we expect the earliest project start to be January 1st. Of course, based on the decision in December, it will be uh, difficult to, to get an earlier start. And uh, very important, uh, the project duration. Uh, we expect the innovation uh, project to start uh, at, at the same time, but this uh, dialogue research needs to continue until all the supported projects are ended. Of course, not indefinitely. If there are special uh, delays or issues, uh, <laughs> we will have to draw the line somewhere. But in, in principle, that's uh, what we expect and hope to, to see. And uh, for more information, uh, again, back to our website. Vision uh, 2030 is where you will find, uh, uh, find some information. Uh, you need to look at the English uh, pages. Uh, and also type the vision in Norwegian 2030, in case there are any confusion on that. For the uh, formative dialogue research, uh, it will be uh, myself and Ingeram Ulstein, also present here today with the arm up, uh, that will uh, um, be the call secretariat. Uh, and uh, you can also contact us for questions during lunch and so on. That is what I plan to cover on the formative dialogue research. Um, 